G'day everyone and welcome back for another video from Home Brewer HQ. Have you ever wanted to make a cask ale? Perhaps a barrel aged ale? Well, I'm gonna show you a trick on how to get that delicious wooded flavor and aroma into your beer. Have you ever wanted to make a cask ale? Maybe a barrel aged beer? Well, here is a little trick you can use to get it done a lot quicker and easier. Instead of taking the beer to the barrel, why not bring the barrel to the beer? What this means is you can dry hop your beer with chunks and chips of oak barrel wood. So most barrels that are used to age wine, whiskey or rum, they come from French oak or American oak. So if you can get your hands on some chunks of this wood, you can replicate that flavor in your beer. But before you go throwing raw lumps of wood into your beer, there's a few things you've got to take into consideration. Firstly, wine and whiskey barrels have been charred on the inside of the barrel. This caramelizes the sugars in the wood and over time that helps mature the whiskey, the spirit, wine, whatever is in there. It interacts and imparts that delicious oat flavor. So, with the raw wood that you might acquire, it's important that you char it yourself. It's pretty simple. You can char it on a barbecue, or you can char it in a controlled manner in and around a fireplace. Just don't let it catch on fire and turn to ash, okay? So, I myself, I have a collection of American oak wood blocks, and they range, just like a good steak, from rare to medium to well done. And this is important because different levels of char on the wood impart different flavors. If you use raw wood, it's a bit strong and tannin-like. If you use heavily roasted, it gets a bit burnt and acrid and coffee-like. The middle is what you like. That's where you get these nice, smooth vanilla notes out of the wood. What do you do to prepare the wood blocks? Well, firstly, you can give them a good soak or a good rinse in hot water to sanitize them. You could even pre-soak them in your favorite whiskey, your favorite rum, your favorite bourbon. Really get that flavor soaked into the wood for the weeks leading up to when you want to use them. Then, just like you would dry hop any old beer, take these wood blocks, drop them in, and let them float. Be warned, the flavor gets transferred to your beer pretty quickly. So be sure to take samples every two to three days and check how much wooded flavor your beer is taking on. If you leave it for weeks and weeks, you might find it overpowering. I was quite surprised, it happens quicker than you think. So, there you go. Why take the beer to the barrel when you can bring the barrel to the beer? So, if you really enjoyed that video and you'd like to know more, head over to homebrewerhq.com. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube.